All right. So the fish happens to be mm, right here where the water is. Cool. And it's connected by a fishing line up to here. True. And that is 10 feet above the water. That's not changing. Okay. At what rate is the angle between the line and the water changing? That's right here. Uh, when there's a total of 25 feet out. Okay. So we know how fast the line's being reeled in. Cool. So if we call that Z, if, if we call the distance there of the line is Z, then we know DZ DT. And DZ DT has to be negative one foot per second. Cool. We want to know how fast theta is changing, so we are going to set this up as, and this, before we used tangent, because we had the base of the triangle, now we have the hypotenuse that we want to know, or that we know the rate of change of. So instead of using tangent, we're going to use sine, or you could also use cosecant if you don't want to um, have z in, in the denominator, okay? I'm going to do sine just so we can see what it would look like. Tangent won't work for us because then we'd have to use the base, like if you call the base down here, X, and we don't know how fast that's changing, all right? Again, the only reason why we're not using that side is because they're not asking about it and they're not giving it to us. So why, why would we talk about that side right now? All right, when we derive this, which we need to do to get our d theta dt in here, we get cosine theta d theta dt equals negative 10 over z squared dz dt. Uh, again, we see this a number over the variable to the first power over and over again. That's just negative the numerator over the variable squared because you get negative 10 z to the negative 2. And all I got to do is plug in everything we know. We know from the problem, they tell us there's a total of 25 feet of line out. All right, so that's z. So it's negative 10 over 25 squared. Oh, we also know dz dt is negative one, right? Cool. We're not supposed to know d theta dt, right? We want to know what that is. So I got to do is find cosine theta. Remember, we don't need theta. We need cosine of theta. So if we go back up to this triangle, if we know z is 25 at this point in time, to get cosine, we need x. We need x over 25, basically, right? So we got to solve for what x is. And we're going to do that with the Pythagorean theorem which says that x squared plus 10 squared has to be 25 squared, which means x squared plus 100. Whoa, what just happened? Did I just change pages? Show. x squared plus 100 is 625, and you're very right, Mr. Haney. x is the square root of 525. Okay. And we can simplify that, which we will in a second, but we're just going to plug it down in here for, oh, well, we need cosine. So if x is that number, and that's only at this point in time, remember, the fish is being reeled in, so that's changing. But all we care about is this point in time. So cosine is root 525 over 25. And all we're going to do is solve for d theta dt. So d theta dt happens to be positive 10, because the negatives cancel out, right? Over 25 squared, which is 625. And we're gonna multiply that by 25 hmm, times the square root of 525, or divided by the square root of 525. And all I gotta do is simplify that out. So we can cancel out a 25, because we got 25 squared here, so this is gonna cancel out. 10 and 25 are going to cancel out to 2 and 5. Cool. So it's really two fifths there. And how can we simplify down the square root of 525? It is 5 root 21. Okay. So that means that we are going to get 2 over 25 root 21, which if we rationalize that, we're gonna get two root 21. 
I'm not, I don't really care, to be honest. Um, you should know how to do it, I guess. And then we get 25 times 21 anyway down there, and that was 525. Cool. And that's going to be, again, in radians, and we're talking about seconds. Make sense? Um, it, it should also make sense, gang, that theta is getting bigger, right? As, as the fish gets reeled in, the angle of elevation from the water should be getting larger. 